Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be on sand batteries. I touched on this a little while ago, but I didn't go too much into depth and it was mainly about something that closely related. So I suppose, what is a sand battery? Hey, what is that? So what it actually is, it's a type of energy storage device that utilizes the heat capacity of sand to store and release thermal energy. It's a concept of a sand battery involves using the sand as an energy storage medium. Hmm. Hmm. I believe that there are four steps to explain how a thermal battery, including a sand based one actually works. And number one is the charging. The sand battery is charged by heating the sand to a high temperature. Typically using an external heat source as a sand absorbs the heat, it actually undergoes a phase change, which is the temperature and it stores that thermal energy. So number two is the insulation. So once the sand is actually sufficiently heated, it's insulated to prevent the heat loss. This allows it to be stored energy to be retained for an extended period of time. Number three is discharging. When the thermal energy is actually needed, the insulation will be removed and, it, and the stored heat is transferred to a working fluid such as air or liquid. The working fluid can then be used to generate electricity, provide heat or even perform other tasks. So number four, recharging. The thermal battery can actually be recharged by repeating the charging process, heating the sand again to store more thermal energy. <laughs> So thermal batteries, including those actually utilizing sand as a storage medium, have to, well, have potential applications in areas like solar power storage, energy grid stabilization, and thermal management in various industries. However, it's worth noting that the specific design and composition of the thermal batteries can vary, and ongoing research and development are being carried out to improve their efficiency, capacity, and practical applications. So now what if I told you that this technology has actually been around for 500 years and it all begins with the traditional Turkish coffee making. So actually take a look at this. So I believe that this is a textbook sand battery and I suppose we're led to believe that, well, sand batteries are a relatively modern invention. Although this way of making coffee has actually been around since the 16th century and I find that absolutely crazy. So how this actually works, there is usually a container full of sand and a wood fire underneath it with the traditional Turkish sesve that would actually be filled with coffee and using the sesve with a heated sand would bring the coffee to boil and the heat used for brewing can be adjusted, well, depending on the depth of the coffee within the sand and that's pretty much all there is to it. Okay, I'll talk to you later. See you later. Bye. So I just thought that was incredibly awesome and I know I've touched on this before but it felt like it was well worth a more in-depth video as well I didn't really touch on a few points that I've touched on this video such as the process of the sand battery. So I suppose with that being said that does bring me to the end of this video but I really hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or suggestions please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments and I will try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys I hope you have the most fantastic day and I will See you later.